Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to take this piece of geometry here, and I'd like to make something really cartoony. Like right now, it's just a sphere, essentially, right? Um, I'm going to go in into uh, Create Deformers, and I'm going to create a lattice in here. I'll just show you a reset setting. So there's this thing I like called Use Local Mode. I turn that off, and I'll hit Create. It's creating a lattice for me. And by the way, over here in the hypergraph, you can see that I've got the lattice sitting right here. And there's this thing called the FFF or FFD1 base, Freeform Deformation 1 base, okay, which is part of the lattice. And um, <clears throat> you'll notice if I grab the lattice and I move it, it moves the eye. If I grab the base and I move it, we get all this weird stuff going on. What's going on? Well, what's happening out is this base actually shows us what kind of geometry this can deform. Or not what kind of geometry, where the geometry is this will deform. If I do this, you'll see it starts to impact on it somehow. Okay, if I select both of them at the same time and I move it around, nothing happens for no reason at all. And I can do things like resize it. In this case here, I want to go in and hold down X and pop it right there so it's in the center. I could pop it to, uh, there's other ways I can snap it to the center, but this is the way I'm going to choose. And I'm going to scale it a bit. Okay, great. And that just kind of frames it a little bit. I suspect it got large because of the joints and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, if I grab just the lattice by itself, now I can go in and squeeze the eye, make it flat. And I'll go in here and I'll add a division in the S section. Okay, great. And now I can grab the lattice and I can go and grab lattice points. Um, and maybe I grab these points here and I can go in and start to change the shape. Don't get too close to the joint. If you select the joint, uh, you can hide the joints while you're doing this if you want to. That's sometimes easier. Um, actually, I might even do that really quick. See, if I grab the, the, the joints get selected, I'll just hide them on a layer for a moment so that I don't accidentally select them. And I can go back here and grab lattice points. And maybe I'll take this and, I don't know, I might do something kind of funky, like uh, grab all these points here and maybe pull them forward a little bit. Okay, and... Um, maybe I take, what am I smoking there? Do I grab these ones and I pull them back. Okay, great. Um, so I can get some kind of shape out of them. Great. And you'll see that this still kind of works when I blink. Okay. It goes up and then, oh, what the hell is that little flick right there? That flick, well, I'll probably get another one there. There we go. There's a couple more. So this lattice and its base just aren't big enough. So if I select the two of them together and I scale them up a bit, okay, there, I still get the shape. Sometimes you'll notice uh, it shrinks a little bit. Okay, it's deforming just because of the shape of this thing. Okay, whatever, I'm going to leave it there, say. I just want to make sure that FFD1 base is bigger. And so now it deforms perfectly. And if I go back here and I select this and I go blink, nothing pops out. Whoop. And if I just double check again, grab this, rotate it around, the eye still deforms and everything like that. Holy cow! Now, what are we at? Uh, three minutes. So that didn't take long to figure that one out. One other really cool little thing I can do here is I can take the lattice and... Here, I'll bring up the hypergraph while I do this. I can select the lattice and I can make a duplicate of the lattice. Pull that over here. Okay, and it's created the FFD1. I don't think I'm allowed to delete that. Am I? Looks like I can. I don't know if it... We'll find... Actually, I've never tested this to see if I can actually delete it and get away with it. Anyway, I'm going to grab this, and what I want to do is I want to go in here and I'm going to grab this lattice point, this one, one, this one, this one, and this one, and I'm going to pull them out like this. Okay, I might even go a bit further and pull this out even further. Um, I could have used fewer lattice points and whatever. We might have got something a bit different, but I got to do something like that. Now, here's another special little ability of the lattice. If I select this one, I hold down shift, and I select that one. And if I go under create deformers, there's blend shape. I can create a blend shape for this, and I might give it a name or something like that. But anyway, I'll create... Actually, let's call this... Um, I... Startle... And I'm going to call this the left side. We we'll, might even put like an L on the front of it. L underscore, just so I can quickly identify it. And when I hit create, <clears throat> create, 
Okay, maybe it did something. Okay, I select this one. Do I see anything over here? I don't seem to see it on here. Let's just go double check. I got a window animation editors, and I'll find out that I needed that thing. Uh, blend shape. It is there. La 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 la. Oh, it's because I call it eye startle. I should have called it like blend shape at the end or something like that. Then I could identify it faster. But now, what I can do is this. So I can make the eyeball look like it's startled. And if I went in and I, uh, let's make that a bit smaller. If I take the blink and I make this bigger, I can give this a nice startle effect. I could even have the pupils get bigger. Okay, do whatever I want there. So there, I have created a a cool deformation. I don't need to necessarily keep this around. I can adjust this if I want to. Um, I can go in and say, well, this just isn't good enough. I want the eye to pop out even further. So I'll do something like that. Okay. I might have to finesse it a bit or something like that. Add more points to it. Uh, adding more points to it. Then you got to do some other tricks. But we'll say that's good enough for now. And if I'm happy with it, I can either just hide the lattice. Might go control H and hide it. Or I could delete it. Okay, and so that lattice thing that I did with the blend shape here, let's go and click on this and I'll just take, I'll go there, slow that down right there. <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to make this thing uh, have a control for the startle, okay? And I might even go in here and I'll go modify, add attribute, and I'm going to call this startle, great. And default to zero, maximum we'll say is um, 10. And I'll hit, there'll be no minimum. Okay. And um, now if I go in and I uh, go to animate, set driven key, set, and I'll take this thing and I'll make that the driver. And to get the blend shape, uh, if I go to window animation editors, blend shape editor, you can go in here and you can select it just by hitting that. And there's other ways to select it too, and then you go over load driven. There it is. And this one's going to FFD1 lattice one. Okay, great. Startle, and I'll just hit uh, key. And then I'll take this and I'll take the startle and I'll put it up to 10. And I'll take the lattice and I'll drag it up like that. I thought it was bigger than that. Well, whatever. Okay, whatever. Something's wrong. Hold on a second. Well, I can fix that afterwards. If I just go in and I hit key. Now when I check this, when I go to startle, boop, boop. I thought, if I go back here and I find my lattice is hidden, right click, show. Okay, I guess I can pull that, those points out further. Boop. Okay, and it adjusts automatically. So when I select this and I go startle, there we go. So I got something big to play with. And I could spend a lot of time finessing this, but I just want to get the rough idea of going in, take this, hide it. Okay, great. So there you go. We've got uh, a uh, blend shape startle effect. And I'm going to stop this video here.